Now I want to introduce you to Kurt Butcher. Kurt, a while back, showed some of his modeling on one of Chris's My Bill segments. Uh, and he showed interior window treatment and how he did that window treatment and lit it and so forth. And I was really impressed with it and called him up and said, Kurt, how about, how about doing a segment on our show uh, so that hopefully we can, we can all learn how to do this. So he's going to do a couple of segments. And uh, I really appreciate this, Kurt, because I'm looking forward to it. Okay, great. It's great to be here. Uh, can everybody hear me? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Um, I don't know how this is going to go because I don't have any videos to show you. I'm going to have to kind of do this live. Um, this is just a basic backdrop building. I put together a lot of backdrop buildings because I, uh, I, I build. I usually build just for the layout because uh, I don't have a lot of space. And uh, usually, when you're building a layout, you you never have enough space to build a layout. But anyhow, I I started building these buildings. This this one here was scratch built. And I use plexiglass. Now you, if you're looking at this, uh, you see the back side of it is uh, painted. Of the windows, is painted black. And I like I like using this material because it it um, it's stable. You can glue it with uh, CA. And this particular building was made out of nothing but plexiglass and the uh, the um, the the block. Uh, uh, what do you call that? The, you buy it at the hobby store. It's pretty thin stuff. You can see it right here, but it uh, it it won't move because there's enough plexiglass here to give it the support I need. Um, but what I do did with this particular building was just paint the back of the the uh, the windows black, and you can see it does light through. But as soon as you lay it up against something, it uh, it will darken. Um, no, nope, I'm on the back there, pretty good. Yeah, there it goes. It'll darken up. Um, so it, I, I got to use it quite a bit, and I wanted to um, come up with a little more uh, a, an idea for an interior. And I took some of the plexiglass, and I painted the front of the windows. Uh, let me show you. I'll pull another building up so you can see. You, most of you guys have seen this building already, and I've got it lit up so you can see it. What I did originally was I painted on the, the curtains. And I did that because it was it was easy to do and I was trying to shape some curtains um, so that I could still see the interior of the building. And um, I wanted to add some something to the interior to give it a little depth. And you could see I've got some furniture in there and I've got some people and, uh, um, uh, series of things. Now, and what I did to do that was this particular building, by the way, is made with two sheets of plexiglass. I wanted to to, to give it the depth, and I also wanted to to uh, protect the uh, paint on the curtain as well. So I went online, and I found these uh, black on white silhouettes. And the nice the nicest thing about them is. You can cut them out, and well, first of all, they're small enough for just about any scale you use. Um, you can see the size; they're really pretty small, and they've got uh, assortment of things you can use. You got tables, chairs. Um, there's a, some chairs you can use, and uh, they've got um, antique mirrors as well as as well as people here. And like I say, you can size them down any size you want. So I'm putting the plexiglass together. Now the plexiglass comes in various thicknesses. You've got you've got let's thick stuff here, and you've got some pretty thin stuff here. Now th this stuff is nice because it's 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 got the coated paper on it. And and what I recommend if you cut it out, just leave that paper on there and then peel it off afterwards because the stuff will scratch up if you if you uh, run it across the saw too often. But it's it's the thin stuff is flexible and the thick stuff is extremely stable and it doesn't bend much at all. But for, for putting together the uh, uh, the building with the backdrops on them, I use about a quarter inch 
uh, thickness, plexiglass. And the reason being is if you go too thick with it, you can actually see into the other window and uh, put the backdrops on individually so you can see how small they are. And uh, once you put the curtains in there and that sort of thing, so that kind of takes away um, the the uh, the sides a little bit. But um, I don't know. I think it uh, it works pretty well for the interiors. I mean, you you can you can set your. Uh, I use the LEDs um, because they they give me enough brightness. That even if you have a lit room. Um, and you want to keep the lights on in the room, you can still see it. So you can dim it down as much as you want. And um, now when I was putting the LEDs in, um, you have to be careful, but like I say, because they, they actually overpower the window, the the, the the front of it. If you uh, if you turn it up all the way, it can overpower the whole scene. So you want to kind of, kind of keep them uh, above it or, or, a distance from the side um, you don't want it right on the uh right in the window itself um uh, but the other thing is um um though this this particular one here i have tape on it just broke off so i just retaped it and like i say when you put it up against the backdrop you don't you won't see that it darkens everything else the other thing is you can you don't have to cut the cut one piece out for the whole building you can leave uh like if you want to leave three of the windows dark um you just don't put any glass there at all or just put a thin piece of glass and and uh, um don't put any light bulbs in that one particular window or or windows so you can do a series of them if you have a big building you can you know you can do some and leave leave other ones uh darkened out so you, you can do it however you want to do it uh whatever works for you um it's something i tried i i you know um i think it works works out okay um certain situations if you have a, an area that's really well lit um it probably won't work but if you have a darker area of the layout or a darker room or if you just have a uh something you want to illuminate uh uh it'll work for that so so if anybody has any questions or I'd uh, love to hear them. Well, Kurt, I, I have you're... one question. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the facade for the front of that plastic, uh, where did you say you got that? Uh, is it uh, already a building front that you used? Yeah. Th which one you're talking about? The uh, This this particular one here or the either, other one? Either one of them. I was just wondering. Well, this one was just, um, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, DPM? Yes. Okay. And the other one was just just flat uh, stock that you get at the hobby store. You know, it comes in sheets, mm -hmm. uh, evergreen. I think it uh, might be one, but this is the real thin stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and Can you cut out the windows out of that. Yes, yeah, so I cut the windows out of that. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then and, the window frame itself. Did you? Use a color magic marker or something to do the no the, uh, window, no the window frames are actually plastic. Oh okay. Yeah, those are plastic. I'm you know that's uh, pretty slick. You don't have to glue any plastic on the back for your window. Yeah, I like I say I've never been a fan of the 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 acetate that they buy. Matter of fact, I do it with all my kits and everything. I put plexiglass. Right. I've never been a fan of the plastic that they put in the kits because it uh, it's not clear enough it doesn't give you a, a reflection you can actually get a reflection from this yes you can, yeah you can see it reflecting off the light in the room there yes and um i mean sometimes you don't want that reflection depending on what you're modeling but uh it works really well and you could you could you could put real thin stuff like in a caboose or you in a doll it down too if you wanted to yeah what's that you can yeah. Yo, yeah you can dull it down you can dull the back side of the window and the front side will still give you a, a glossy look yep yeah good so, thank you yeah um like i say i i i think this might be helpful for some of those guys that want to model uh and maybe if you just want to put one person in the window or uh you know a chandelier yeah. in the middle of the room uh you can do that and it it really people love it i mean when people see it, they really love it 
Yep. Thank you. Well, Kurt, thank you so very much for doing this. Look forward to it. Yeah. I, uh, next time, maybe I'll have some pictures. <laughs> that's, that's good. Well, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.